Seven-year-old Isabella Wiggins loves Taylor Swift, putting stickers on her walker and dancing during physical therapy. When she was born, she was appeared to be a normal, healthy baby. Isabella's journey began in the first couple months of her life. Her grandmother, Gina Toffelson, says she noticed Isabella not advancing the same as others her age. When she was awake, she would fist her hands. She always kept them like this. And then when she would go to sleep, her hands would open. And it's the opposite. At 10 months, the LSU Health Science Center diagnosed Isabella with schizencephaly, a rare developmental disorder caused by gaps in the brain. The doctors told me she would never walk. They told me, don't expect too much. You know, she's just going to be there. She's there. <laughs> <laughs> According to the National Institutes of Health, this rare disease affects 1.5 of every 100,000 people. Side effects include developmental delays, seizures, and delays in speech skills. It was just a birth defect that occurred. We don't know why. Two-year-old Isabella began therapy at McMaine's Children's Developmental Center to work through her disability. Executive Director Renee Kraft says McMaine's becomes a second family to these children. Kids who come to the McMaine Center come on an average of 10 years. Physical therapist Mandy Langlois remembers when Isabella first started. She just used to scream and holler at us all the time, but <laughs> We became friends. As Isabella hey. continues therapy, her strength keeps her family and therapist hopeful for the future. Lauren Partain, Tiger TV.